welcome Magdalene Janet here welcome to the familia so I am finally back with another lip swatching video I'm so excited so Milani just released the color fetish matte lipstick that released I don't know a couple weeks ago but I've been kind of slow with filming because the sun has been acting up here usually around the time I like to give you the sunlight view the sun was just not cooperating which is why I waited so long, but here we are. And I wanna show you guys how they look in sunlight and in studio lighting so you guys can get that good view. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. What I usually do is do the lip swatches at the beginning of the video and towards the end of the video, we talk about them. I tell you the price, how they feel, how they look, all that jazz. I want you guys to leave here comfortable knowing whether you wanna buy these or not. They came out with a colorful line of these. This line in particular is a matte lip and they're nude. So, oh, I'm so excited. That's another reason why I have a colorful look on because it's summer, it's Friday, and I wanted to like play with color today. I usually do a super neutral look, you guys know, just so that the lip color doesn't clash with the eye look. But I figured because these are nude lipsticks, you know, it'll match, you know what I mean? Before we get started, I just wanna show you how the lipstick looks. This is the shade 420 Tees, the numbers at the bottom along with the name. The component looks like this and it comes very nicely sealed. I got mine at Ulta and let's just unwrap one really quick. Ooh, this is cute. I kind of like the packaging. And, ooh, <gasps> look how pretty this is. Nothing like a brand new lipstick and it's matte. Oh my God, I wonder if it's drying. Anyway, okay, I do wanna show you the order we're gonna go on my phone and then we're just gonna get started with the lip swatches. All right, fam, this is the order we're gonna go in. Lightest to darkest, well, you know, kind of. And then here are the shades at the bottom. Just wanna give you a very close up look. First one up is 420 Tees. Next one up is 410 Pleasure. This is the shade Pleasure. Next up, we have 430 Secret. Next one up is 440 Passion. Next up is 450 Desire. At least 460 sensual.
So this is it. This is the fifth, no, the sixth and final lip swatch using these brand new Milani Color Fetish Nude Lipsticks. And oh, I love a good nude. So let's talk about these. They retail for $8.99. They're an ultra creamy pigmented matte lipstick. It kind of has a lot going on. It, it really does feel like a soft velvet, like the description says. It goes on like very smooth, very, very smooth and creamy. And it kind of dries down like a matte, but not completely. I felt like they're really, really super pigmented. With one swipe, you do get a good amount of color on your lips. But if you do add more layers, it definitely gets darker and it gets to the shade that the actual lipstick is, which I appreciate because sometimes the lipstick looks different from what it goes on your lips. Of course, depending on your lip color, things, you know, look different. As I was swatching them, I was kind of like confused. I wasn't sure where it was going. It was, it felt very velvety and creamy, but then it does have like a matte effect. I could really see it in the lighter shades because especially on 410, I just think this was too light for my skin tone because my lips look super chalky. You can see all the texture. You can see all the lines on my lips with this particular shade. And that's where you can really see how a lipstick dries down. The darker shades tend to kind of mask that situation. If you use the lighter shades with this formula, it will accentuate your lines on your lips, texture on your lips if you have it. So beware about that. Although they go on beautifully, super creamy, they do have that, that I, like completely threw me off because when you first apply it, it feels nice. You think it's gonna look like the way it feels, you know, but it doesn't, it does show texture. But like I said, only with the lighter shades, when I got to the darker shades, it just made my lips look really, really nice. A little bit on the plump side, but these lighter shades kind of made my lips look cracky to tell you the truth. Other than that, I think they are great. I feel like Milani does makeup very well. Of course, for a super affordable price, they're $8.99. I got mine at Ulta. I have my laptop here because my phone is dying. They are available at Ulta and Milani right now. I'll link everything below. Something that immediately drew my eye is the packaging. It's so pretty. It's so luxe. It'll look so pretty on your vanity and they stand out. Like I feel like this lipstick won't just kind of fall in to, with all your other lipsticks. It just stands out so much. It's kind of thick, so it's not your typical thin lipstick bullet. I was thinking that when I first started swatching them, I'm like, they're just so pretty. It's a very aesthetically pleasing packaging with like the matte, you see like the matte lipstick right there? I just love matte. I mean, I'm obsessed with matte, but I just thought it was so cute. You know, if you're wondering, this makeup look is on my Instagram and on my TikTok. Well, eventually, I don't know when I'll be able to edit it. Follow me there because I'm there. I'm trying to be active on all three of my platforms, but it's hard, you know, because you guys know my YouTube fam, you guys are my main fam, you know? Another thing I wanted to bring up is they're not small lip friendly. And I say that because once you apply it, you see that point kind of completely goes away, which happens all the time when it comes to lipsticks. It is what it is. But I have smaller lips and I don't have a huge cupid's bow. So I did struggle a lot trying to line my lips and not going outside of the lines. So keep that in mind. I would just suggest to wear a lip liner when you're using these because the formula is so creamy. It can kind of slide out of your lip tone i mean out of your lip line you know what i mean i don't ever wear lip liner when i'm doing a lip swatching video because i want you to see how the color looks on regular lips with nothing on the lips and it'll just help you figure out which shade will work for you if you want to get them if you don't if you want to buy them all like me you know what i mean so that's why i never wear lip liner i also try not to wear like a lot of makeup but today i did because i was just feeling a little feisty what i can say is use a lip liner to help you line them and you're not like gonna be messy especially if you have smaller lips like me i'm reading here and it says it has hyaluronic acid so i definitely feel that because as i was removing each 
lipstick off and honestly I had to refilm it because my lighting was jacked up so as I refilmed it and was taking it off putting it on taking it off my lips were feeling super moisturized and plump not very extremely moisturized but they weren't feeling dry my lips do not feel dry and anytime you remove a lipstick and you put it on and you remove it your lips will dry that's just how it is because you're just taking everything off of the lip but they do feel very very nice you can definitely feel it as you're applying it let's see if they're kiss proof Oh no, not really. And actually I did get them on my teeth. Yeah, if you see lipstick on my teeth, you know, that just happens sometimes. I was gonna do a wear test, but anytime I know something's not kiss proof, I know it's not gonna last, so you know. But let me know, do you guys like wear tests for lip products? I do them a lot of times with matte lipsticks because usually they say it's like a 20 hour wear. When it comes to lipsticks, anything creamy, any gloss, anything like that, I don't because you know, it's just gonna come right off once you eat. Actually, I've never tried any Milani lip products. No, I'm lying. It's the plumping glosses I did. But anyway, the lipsticks. Let's just say lipstick. My favorite shades were honestly all of the shades except for 410 Pleasure. This is just too light for my skin tone. It made my lips look super chalky, super cracky. My lips look chap when they're not chapped you know it, it just didn't work for me other than that all of these shades really really work very very well i feel like they have a good color selection for a nude line because a lot of times i feel like they go with a lot lighter and pinker nudes as opposed to deeper shades and i appreciate that we have a lot more deeper shades than lighter shades i had so much fun lip swatching this for you let me know your thoughts on these lipsticks have you tried them out which one was your favorite color are you a nudes girl like me because i love nudes i just love them so much i feel like it's my everyday thing but anyway let me know your thoughts have you tried them and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me spending a little bit of your day with me and i just for some reason i feel so rushed right now but it's because i'm hungry but anyway i love you guys please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right here let me know your thoughts and i'll see you in the next one bye